This is Bridge with Stephen from the Lake Chapala Duplicate Bridge Club. Today we're going to do our fourth of four parts on the subject of raising partners' major suit opening bid. Um, we're, we've, been uh, uh, we've been focusing on this structure here, which is a system for showing either four-part support or three-part support with one of four different ranges of strength. If you learned bridge um, a few decades ago, maybe in the Goran era, uh, you only learned three bids for raising partners major, a minimal raise, a limit raise, and with game forcing strength, um, we had a, uh, another way to bid. We only had one way to show support, three cards or more, and we only showed three ranges. Today, uh, we show, a, we make a distinction between three and four card support, and we've broken the minimal range from six to nine into two parts, six to seven and eight to nine. And I want to emphasize to you that not everybody plays this way. Um, I play with a variety of partners, and some of them just simply don't um, want to use this. But uh, I'm going to show you the uh, method that I like best, and uh, uh, here we go. We will be talking about forcing no trump today. We've already discussed the Bergen raises, the Jacoby two no trump, and the splinter bids. The, the Bergen raises and the Jacoby two no trump and splinter bids were for showing four card support in one of three different ranges. Now we're going to be showing um, just three card support and we're going to be using the forcing no trump. And that's why we're discussing this subject. But the subject of the forcing one no trump is broader than simply raising major suits. Uh, forcing one no trump is an integral part of the two over one game force uh, system and we're not going to be discussing that today. So we're not uh, um, going to be talking about all of the things that, uh, that this bid is used for except just to briefly mention them. Um, so the forcing no trump. Partner has opened one heart or one spade, that is a major suit, in first or second seat, meaning you are an unpassed hand. Remember, a partner's opening in third seat or fourth seat, you've already passed. Your right hand opponent passes, so there's no interference. And that's the case with, um, with many of these bids. That's the case with um, some of these Bergen raises and with the Jacoby 2 no trump bid. Uh, after a partner has, um, has bid as major and right hand opponent has passed, you bid one no trump. If you do that, the bid is forcing for one round. Now this no trump bid is different from the one from the Goran era, which showed about six to 10 points. This one shows six to 12 points. Um, in the past, when you used no trump, a one no trump response to a major, before we had the forcing no trump, it denied three card support for partner's major. You've never been one no trump after one heart or one spade with, um, with support. Um, these are the bids, there's only two of them. One heart, pass, one no trump, and one spade, pass, one no trump. Both of these bids can be preceded by a pass. One pass, not two. Like I said, if there's been two passes, a partner's opening in third seat, then you are a passed hand. And um, this convention is not in effect. Um, these bids are not forcing. This is not, this, these one no trump calls are not forcing. One diamond, pass, one no trump. Why? Because it's a minor suit. Forcing no trump is only um, played after a major suit opening bid. Here's another example of a non-forcing one no trump call by responder. One heart, double, one no trump. Okay, because there's been interference. Now the forcing no trump convention is not in play. This bid is no longer forcing and it resembles the old bid. Six to nine points, balance hand, no support for partner's major or inadequate support. And here's another example of a one no trump call that's not forcing. Pass, pass, one spade, pass, one no trump. Now, you're a passed hand. So when you come in here now and bid one no trump um, a few bids later, your bid is not forcing. What some people do is, is play this, what they call semi-forcing, which is a term a lot of people don't like. Um, but what semi-forcing means for most people is if partner is open with a full opener, should treat the one no trump as forcing anyway. But if partner is open light, third or fourth seat, then the one no trump can be passed. Okay, now let's look at um, how we're gonna be using this um, one no trump bid in two places. As I said before, in the old days, um, one spade, two spades showed about six to nine points. We're now going to break that into two parts, six to seven points and eight to nine points. When we want to show the minimum, we use the forcing no trump in between one of the major and two of the major. So for example, partner opens a spade, we say no trump, partner might bid two clubs, now we bid two spades. That would show three card support with six to seven points. On the other hand, when we have this constructive raise, eight to nine points, um, we, we, bid the, the, we raise the major directly, one heart, two hearts. 
Okay, so I can show you the difference between six to seven points and eight to nine points. And that's the first of the advantages that I've mentioned here. This forcing of Trump allows us to show three card support with six to seven points differently than with eight to nine points. And um, the second thing I'm gonna show you here is uh, that now we show the limit raise with three card support by going through the forcing of Trump. In the past, the old Gorin method, the bidding would have been one spade, three spades. That would be showing the limit raise. We're now gonna use that one spade, three spade bid over here preemptively to show we can't. That's no longer the way we're gonna show a limit raise in support of partner's major. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the forcing one no trump. So partner opens a heart, one no trump. Um, now partner rebids two of something. Now we jump to three of partner's major. And that shows the limit raise with three card support. Okay? And just to complete this, uh, when we have um, gained forcing strength and three card support, what we're going to do is make a two over one response first, and then give a delayed raise of partner's major. So it might go one spade, two diamonds, um, anything, and then um, a spade, a spade bit, the cheapest one. If you can bid it at the two level, you bid two spades. If you can bid it at the three level, you bid three spades. And this shows gain forcing strength, because if you had anything less than that, you would have taken a different path. Uh, before raising partners major suit. Okay, so uh, a second advantage of the forcing no trump is that it frees up the one major, three major bid for preempting with four card support. That's this bid over here we just talked about. Now here's two other things that don't have anything to do with what we're talking about today, which is raising partners major suit. But there are also advantages to using the forcing no trump. For one thing, it makes it possible to play two clubs or two diamonds after um, partners major suit opener with a weak hand and a long liner. You've had this hand, uh, six or seven diamonds, about eight points. Partner opens uh, one heart or one spade. You can't bid two diamonds. Your hand is too weak. Furthermore, that would be a forcing bid and you would not get to play that the partner would be expected to bid again. Um, but with the, with the forcing no trump, the bidding could go something like one no trump, I'm uh, sorry, one spade, one no trump, two clubs, two diamonds. That's no longer forcing and it doesn't show um, the uh, 10 or 11 plus points that that bid showed in the Gordon system. It could show a weak hand with a long money. And then finally, um, forcing one no trump is an integral part of the two over one game force system. Um, you can't play that convention without um, the forcing no trump. But th th once again, that's not what we're talking about here. Okay, um, let's look at um, opener's first rebid. Uh, when I say 13 to 15 minimum, these, this is just a rough guideline. You might write 12 to 14 there. You might write 12 to 15 there. You might, uh, uh, you might make a bad 15 a minimum and a good 15 an intermediate um, strength hand in, in your mind, however you see it. But which, when you consider um, your one level suit, major suit opening bids, we generally divide them into three categories, minimum, intermediate, and maximum. I've just um, drawn these, written out these numbers this way because uh, it's symmetrical. All right, so um, you've opened one of your major, partners bid one of them, and you've announced forcing. You can either rebid a six uh, plus card major at the two level, if you have one. Um, if you've opened one spade and you have four hearts, you can now bid two hearts. Or if you can't do either of these, you bid your longer minor, and it might be a three card suit. Partner needs to keep that in mind, the one no trump uh, responder needs to keep that in mind that when opener rebids um, a minor, it might be short. Okay, with an intermediate strength hand, you can jump rebid a six card major. So one spade, one no trump, three spades. Or, as with uh, the minimum, you can bid two hearts with four if you open one spade. You can raise partners one no trump to two no trump as an invitation. You can reverse the two spades if you have four of them, if you've opened one heart. So if the bidding's gone one heart, one no trump, two spades, that shows at least an intermediate strength hand. And failing all of these, if you can't do any of these things, um, bid your longer minor. One thing I want you to notice as we go down this list is some things are the same in two of these categories. They're written the same. Uh, when we rebid a six card major with a minimum, we don't jump. But when we have an intermediate strength hand, we're gonna jump. So we can tell the difference between this and this. But this bid two hearts with four if you open one spade occurs in both of these categories. So if the bidding goes one spade, one no trump, two hearts, I'm showing a range of 13 to 18. I could have this, this range or this range. 
And that becomes relevant when you have, um, let's say, a 6-4 hand, and you have um, a 6-card major and a 4-card uh, um, uh, side suit, other suit, and you're trying to decide on your rebid whether to rebid your major or to show your second suit. Uh, if you have an intermediate strength hand, for example, you might want to rebid your, your major because you will get to jump and be able to show a narrower range. Whereas if you just simply bid your second suit, um, whether that's um, hearts or your longer minor, uh, you're going to um, be showing a much bigger range. So that would be something to think about when making that decision. Uh, and then with the Maxwell hand, <coughs> once again we can jump rebid a six plus card major if we have one. So that then shows between 16 and 21. Uh, we can jump to three no trump, so the bidding might go something like one spade, one no trump, three no trump with this maximal hand. Uh, once again, reverse to two spades with four after one heart, so that bid shows 16 to 21 because it's here and it's here. And then um, the last option is to jump shift. So we, um, we make a bid like one spade, one no trump, and then three clubs, diamonds, or hearts. And that shows um, um, a narrow range, 19 to 21, and a maximum. So this is a bid that falls in only one category. This is a bid that falls in only one category. These two bids fall into two categories. This bid falls into one category. This bid falls into one category. This bid falls into two categories. So um, this is a, a nice menu of bids um, to have in your mind and to um, recognize the range of partners um, at hand. Now let's look at responders rebid. This is divided into two categories, just a minimum and a maximum. This is the old range of the one in front bid before it was forcing. This is the extra length, uh, strength that we've added to it when making it go from 6 to 10 up to 6 to 12. If we have a minimum 6 to 10, uh, we can pass to show our preference for open or second suit. So maybe the bidding has gone one spade, one no trump, two hearts, and we've got uh, three or four hearts and we like that better than spades, so we can just pass. Or we can correct it to um, a partner's major with either 6 to 7 points and 3 card strength or six to nine points and, um, and two in support. Uh, this is not, not everybody plays this way. Uh, but um, this is a, a, a reasonable way to play. So with this bid right here, six to seven points and three is this one right here. Okay, six to seven points and three card support. Uh, but we, when the bidding goes something like one spade, one no trump, two clubs, two spades, partner will almost always pass that bid. And it's reasonable to play in a 5-2 fit if that looks like the best place to be. Uh, you're not going to be able to play in one no trump anymore now that you're playing this, this um, forcing no trump. In the past, you could have possibly had an option that went one spade, one no trump, and you would have played it there. But um, you know, even though partner had five spades and you had double to support, but now that's not going to be possible anymore. So we will be getting to two spades on those hands. Um, and failing either of these, um, bid a new long suit, that's this bid right here. It's, as I said, um, this convention makes it possible to play two clubs or two diamonds after a major suit opener with a weak hand, but you could also play two hearts there. So bid a new long suit. Um, now with the maximal hand, 11 and 12 points, you can um, either rebid no trump, you've bid one no trump before, now partners bid um, two of a suit, you can bid two no trump, and then that's invitational. Uh, you can jump in partners major if you have three card support, and that's this bid over here. Remember we said with a limit raise, uh, 10 to 12, I'm showing 11 to 12 here, but really with 10 to 12, um, one major, one no trump, two of anything from opener, and now jump in partner's major and you're showing a limit raise with three card support. So this would be an example, one spade, one no, two diamonds, three spades. Or if partner has rebid his or her major and showing six, we can raise it with only two. So raise partner's rebid major with two, one heart, one no trump, two hearts, three hearts. Inviting partner to game if partner has more than a bare minimum. We can also raise partner's second suit with at least four, but remember I said be careful because if partner's second suit is a minor, it could be as short as three. So um, ideally you'd like to have five to raise a minor. Uh, it would only, we'd only need four to raise partner's hearts. If the bidding's got one spade, one no trump, two hearts, with four card heart support we can now raise two hearts to three if we have 11 to 12 points. Um, or we can jump in a new suit, which is invitational. It should be a good suit. It should be at least a six-card suit. 
So, for example, suppose we have 11 or 12 points and a good six card heart suit. We weren't quite good enough um, to bid two hearts over one spade, so we went one spade, one no trump. Now partners bid two clubs, and we show our, our imitation will have by jumping to three hearts. If we had only bid two hearts, uh, that would be uh, this bid here, and it would only be showing six to ten. Okay, that's all for today.